everyone uh, this is a bit of a spare of the moment and i mean spare of the moment like just five minutes ago yeah. mark said to me we're going to do a vlog yeah i had and, no idea um, i opened my computer checked all the footage i've got and i've got no footage so this is about as raw as it gets yeah and it's a little bit of a boozy boozy vlog boozy vlog yes yeah. yeah well it will be if i get it right if i get it wrong i've got a drink non-alcoholic booze as some of you remember um the other week with the shopping um debbie ordered me by mistake some um alcohol free ghost ship well i've got the real stuff here so i'm going to do a blind taste test um to see how they come out so deb's going to be barmaid <laughs> right so we're gonna gonna open both bottles open both and whilst um we haven't got a blindfold have we got a blindfold anyway? Do you want me to get you a I'm going to get a blindfold. I'll be back. Oh. I know some of you people would rather me have a gag than a blindfold, as you've uh, said that I always talk over Deb, but hey-ho. Okay. Can you see? No, no, but I'll, I'll keep my eyes shut anyway. Okay. So. Right. Okay. Reminds me of those books you read. Yeah, so as some of you probably know, Adnam's Ghost Ship is one of my, my favourite beers. I like um, it as well. I love a, a pint of Ghost Ship. Yeah, yeah. It is a very nice beer. Right, okay. So you've poured them both? Yep. Right, so, so this, this one first. This one first. It smells like Ghost Ship, the yeah, nice citra hops. Um, they've both been stored in the bottom cupboard in the fridge. This is really freaky having this on. <laughs> right, so. That is nice. That is nice. But I have my suspicions. Um, all the all the citra flavours coming through. There's, there's a thinness to it. I, that's all I can describe. Let me try the other one. Okay. Yes. Again, just smells the same as the first one. That that is the that's the real McCoy. That is a right nice pint. Yeah, that's the alcohol one. If I've got this wrong, I'm going to look a total burke. Can take the blindfold off. Yeah. So how'd I do? You got it right. I got it right. Yeah. So, yeah, as I smell the same, we've got the same colour and everything. The taste is there, but there is a, yeah, a, th a thinness, a very thinness. No. It's not not nice. I've had alcoholic beer before, which isn't great. Not when everybody else is drunk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, cheers, guys. That's not too bad. That. Yeah. Now, what a lot of people do when they um, brew alcoholic beer, they oh. use a totally different recipe, and they don't go out through the actual brewing process, so it doesn't produce the alcohol. Um, therefore, it's it's harder to get an original taste. What Adnams have done, um, they've invested in a de-alcoholisation plant, is that right? That sounds, that's what you sound, said. sounds right. Which is a, a big reverse, os you can Google reverse osmosis, it's a big reverse osmosis plant. So they brew 4.5% um, uh, uh, ghost ship using all the, the normal brewing techniques and then with that batch they'll run it through the de-alcoholisation plant, try saying that after a few of those, and that will take all of the alcohol out and leave that ghost ship flavour. So the flavours are there, that you the, the nice citra it's hops, and it, so it's got the, the hoppy taste of the beer, but there is just that thinness, would you agree? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, so I'm so glad I got that one right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah but and it's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm yes. gonna You're going to have, have that. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. one of those where when you was younger, 
you'd always have one of your friends who'd still fall over after drinking three or four. <laughs> I did have a friend like that, and I'm not going to name him to embarrass him. Yeah, Paul. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, and now the second half of the boozy vid will be um, on the, I think it was the 7th of November, we picked a load of slows um, from up the towpath. Yeah, we, I think we did. We did, um, a, we did include a little bit of footage pretty of sure we did. us when we come back with the with the slows Deb had here at the time. A bit more interesting. <laughs> um, what we just found. No, nope. yeah, it's in a in a poo in bag. A, it's in a poo bag. In a yeah. dog, doggy poo Slows. bag. Yeah, so now back off to the boat. Um, <laughs> um well that's been sitting uh, what we did was when we got back we froze the slows instead of pricked them. Um and then uh, that's supposed to split them. Um which saves you pricking them. I'm I mean, trying my hardest not to talk over Dave. I think I'm doing quite well. He says just talking. But but yeah, so so what we did was we put them in the freezer, froze them, and then um, got some vodka and some caster sugar. And can I talk over you? Yeah. We got gin. And then we um, bought a liter of gin um, and some caster sugar. Got it right that time. <laughs> and um, that was how long ago? Gosh. That we picked the slows, like you said, on the seventh. Froze them for a couple of days, and we actually um, put them in the bottle um, with the caster sugar on the tenth, tenth of November. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so tenth of November. Yeah. yeah. And we and are now the third of February, so yeah. that's been a good, good few yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we put the um, the slows in, they they all sink to the bottom. Agitate the uh, the bottle. Every day, isn't it, for a couple of weeks? Yeah, every day for a couple of weeks, and then once once or twice a week, and then just once a week. Leave it in a cool, dark place. I'm talking over you again. Your turn. It's no. fine. <laughs> yeah, leave it in a cold, dark place, and the longer the better. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, well, I think this has been long enough. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's doing my nutting sitting in the corner there. It's just, it's like, no, it needs to be drunk now. It needs to be tasted and it needs to be drunk. Yeah, and there's various ways of, and that was what these these are for. Craze Deb to buy me my first set of uh, knee, knee, knee high 15 denier tights. Um, but that is just to filter. Um, so, just so soft. Filter. Uh, just filter. Give it to me. <laughs> Filter all the the bits yeah. and pieces out when we uh, yeah when we pour, when we rebottle it, it. yeah yes. when we pour out the um, obviously because the slows will come out it, it and all the bits and pieces that are in the slows so it, this is just to um, filter that and then we can put it back in the bottle and say cheers yeah. in case the giggles here we do apologise okay. or I do yeah other other filtering mediums are available i think that's the, there you go. the best way to do yeah, it yeah that's yeah it, then, yeah. then no religions you are can offended. use what you can yeah. use what you can yeah. use whatever you want yeah so yeah. over to the bottling station yeah yeah so um we we've got a, a massive jug anyway but everything has to uh, for me everything has to be sterilized so we've sterilized everything um and now we're just basically rinsing it so it doesn't smell of sterilizer and um, here's a picture of the um, bottle when we first put the slows in. And um, here it is now. You can see all the slows in the bottom. Yeah, so we're just going to pour that through the funnel and flip filter. This is the least <laughs> erotic thing we've ever done with stockings. <laughs> Yeah, so basically just put, put two of the stockings over the top of that and... Um, they pop socks. Pop socks. Yeah. So bring that there. Okay. I'll and hold it there. Away. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now for the hard bit, we've actually got to get, <laughs> didn't think of this one. We've got to get the berries out, which due to the the berries have swollen and I do remember putting them in, took us about 20 minutes. Do we not have a spare bottle of gin? No. 
Oh dear. I found a bottle. Yeah, so we haven't haven't got to worry haven't about, got to worry about getting that. the slowers out of this bottle. No, I found a bottle of sherry. Is that litre? Yes. It's a long while since I've seen a smile like that. And then then all we have to do is put the cap on that and leave it in the cupboard for another year. <laughs> Not. <laughs> awesome. Lovely, lovely. Well, the bottling went well, Deborah. Yes, it did. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which reminds. Tasted lovely. Yeah, yeah. Which reminds me he, why it reminds me of Sainsbury's, probably because we spent most of our time in the <laughs> alcohol aisle. Yeah. Um, we had a, a funny little outing to Sainsbury's. Well, th th the thing is, I get a little bit hot and bothered when I'm in, I mean, I went with Mark just just for a little walk. I didn't touch anything. I had a mask on and everything, um, but I feel a little bit, I don't know what the word is, anxious when I take my hat off or my chemo cap and and, I, and here I am like this in, in public um, and, and I feel a little bit anxious about that. Um, but. But made we, even. We caught, caused a multi trolley pilot it with was, people staring um, at dead and bumping into each other. Yeah, uh, one lady made such a big thing about looking at my head. She actually bashed into her own trolley um, and nearly fell over. And then another lady decided that she would double take and ended up crashing into someone else's trolley. But I had the perfect remedy to stop them looking but I think it actually made it worse and this is what I done. And Sainsbury's doing our shop and Deb's rocking the board look. Managed to stop people staring. How have I done that Deborah? By playing Sinead O'Connor nothing compares to you. Yeah if you don't know what track I'm on about Google it's it. Yeah, people but... are bashing into their trolleys staring at me. Yeah. It just makes you feel a little bit you know, but yeah, so that that was uh, uh, quite amusing. He's a and um, no doubt I'll get some comments of concern that um, Deb shouldn't be in. in it was in, my first. It was my first outing. Yeah. for nearly two weeks. I... Yeah, although Debbie is immunocompromised, <laughs> like, like, like I say, she's got a mask on. We're anti-backing, even though she doesn't touch, touch anything. anything. Anti-backing, anti she's yeah. no more. Um, likely to catch COVID than anybody else because nobody has a natural immu immunity to COVID. No. If she did catch it, she would be very, very poorly um, because of her lower lower immunity. But we do keep our distance and, and everything else and we go when yeah. it's not so busy and all that sort of thing. So... So, so please understand. It, it I just, a, I just wanted to. I just wanted to. It was a, wanted, it was a mental to, help. Yeah, we've done yeah. a risk assessment, and uh, I just yeah, wanted Debbie, to get Debbie out for a little while. Outing, yeah, yeah. Even if it was just a Sainsbury's. <laughs> that was quite easy. Our first attempt. Uh, yeah. Let me pour you one, Deborah. Always used to buy Debbie. Um, Adnams. Adnams. Slow gin. Slow gin, and I'm not sure how they'd done it, but it was. It was borderline syrupy, very, very nice. Beautiful. There you go, my dear. Thank you. Oh, my days. <laughs> nice. <gasps> yeah, very nice. Well, we'll see how, see oh, how it, long. Oh, it's warm as it goes down. Yeah, what's today's date? Today's date is the... Third, third uh, of February. So we'll see how how long that bottle lasts. Cool. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Roll on <laughs> next autumn. Yeah. So from the last video, or since the last video, I've had a port fitted um, in my chest, which is a tiny little round disc thing with a squidgy bit in the middle. It's the technical um, term. <laughs> <laughs> and that it sort of like takes a pipe or a little tube that goes up to here and then comes down 
and it's about two centimeters from my heart. Yeah, like in one of the main arteries. Yeah, so it's and and it's easier. And I had my chemo the following day after having it fitted, and it was so so much easier. I mean, you can still see I've got bruises from the last time they tried. So that just goes to show the stress under the vein or the veins have you know because i've still got those bruises but but yes yeah, so and i'm having next lot of chemo is next thursday the 11th yeah, yeah. so um and you you actually struggled a bit this time didn't you i did because i was a week it was a week late so i'd had like um four weeks um i'd been so well um when i did have it boy oh boy did that knock me for six it made me and i was I did, I did take to my bed, and I don't normally yeah, do that, yeah. but I took to my bed a couple of, a couple of three times, yeah, didn't I? Yeah, and, you uh, know, I and just slept a lot. And I think it's a, it's a f number of things. I've been a grumpy... I don't know how to bleep stuff out like the foxes do, so I can't even say the word, but I've, I've been struggling of late, and I yeah. think with my... We, we we both obviously like everybody in in the country and everybody in the world is struggling with this whole um, COVID nineteen thing anyway, um, and then being just stuck on a sixty foot boat in a marina is it's very stressful. It's it, it can with what's going on with what's on going on as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So can't as, go as, out. Can't do so this. So I was, can't I was do trying that. to say. I think my low positivity and sort of rubbed off on on deb so yeah, yeah he do, I mean, put me big curl pants on i've pulled them <laughs> up and i'm i'm back to normal yeah i just it was one of those it, it just knocked me yeah, for six yeah. and and like i say with situations as they are and the only time i felt good was when i was asleep so yeah, I, yeah. I slept a lot and, I, and I, now i'm feeling yeah, great and i was the same i think i had three phases no f three i'll, I'll discount the <laughs> The sleeping. I was either drunk, angry, or crying. Yes. Sometimes all three. Yes. Yeah, but no, I'm yeah. better now. But, but we, we're getting there. So, yeah. um, and like I say, and I, I start next front. No, next Thursday, isn't yeah. it? Next Thursday, the eleventh. I start weekly. So, and we just really don't know what to expect. Again, from that. we just just wait to see what happens. Yeah. So yeah, the, um, the the worst thing with that, I, I can't remember whether we mentioned last time. When Deb had her oncology review, because she's done so well, well with yeah. this, they said, "I oh, will, we'll give you this drug and this on top." Yeah. So, and with it being weekly, um, there's no let up in between. But no. we'll we'll just take each day as it comes. But those nine weeks will go very yeah, very quickly. Yeah, the last hopefully. the last nine. I mean, technically, we are halfway through Deb's treatment yeah. on the chemo side of things. Yeah. 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 So. And my hair's starting to grow back. Yeah. It's very, it's very, it's very tufty. Little tufty bit. It's like very tufty. For the the older yeah. ones of you, you'll remember Paulus the Wood Gnome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a two o'clock in bed this morning conversation. Yes, Deb, it was. Yeah, and it was Deb who said that she looked like Paulus, not me. I said I feel like Paulus. Feel like now. Paulus. Yeah. yeah. I said yeah. she looked like the witch out of Paulus, but. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's about it. Yeah, next yeah. next week's video will actually be the long-awaited, what was going to be vlog two, um, when we first started doing these videos back in 2018. Um, the second video was going to be a walkthrough of our boat. Mm. Now, most of you have seen at some point me zoom from one end um, to the other, uh, but this will be a little bit more detailed, um, taking you through the boat and just pointing out some the little features that you probably don't notice while you're looking for uh, while you're looking at boats but just that um what made us fall in love yeah. with her yeah what, yeah what made, i was going to say what made yeah. us yeah. fall in love with the boat yeah, yeah and i thought at least with me filming that that will give deb an excuse to do some housework <laughs> <laughs> bugger <laughs> yeah just one more um, forgot about this you one. nearly forgot about this yeah just one more thing before we we sign off um it was an Andrew Lancaster uh, commented on one of the posts uh, if if I shaved my head, which I did, um, believe no, it or not. No, you didn't. I did. No, Deb did. Believe it or not, a week ago. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just debating whether to keep the keep the Mohican. Yeah. <laughs> Add a bit of colour to it. A week ago, he would actually donate twenty pounds to a charity of our uh, choice. choice. Yeah. Yeah, but because we filmed Deb shaving her head and um, Gemma done the. Uh, brave the shave to uh, research money we don't want this channel to turn into a head shaving channel no, no, um, no. but my um, 
charity of choice um, was uh, a local girl. But I say local, we're now in Nantwich area, so Nantwich is local to us. I'd seen her um, story and GoFundMe page on um, a local Nantwich Facebook um, page, and Deb was actually having chemotherapy with her. I sat opposite her. Um, she's 26 and she's so tiny, bless her. And she's just had twins um, and she was re-diagnosed. She already had cancer and then it came back. Can't I won't go into it all, but um, it's devastating for the family and everything. And I just sat opposite her and I mentioned it to Mark and Mark told me that she had... Uh, uh, GoFundMe page so when Andrew Lancaster said about it that's what we said that would be our our um, charity I get, I get joked up. yeah such a sweet lovely girl so yeah so, yeah, so um, um, I'm not allowed to put GoFundMe links up no. here or with it but I will put it in the description below not asking you no of course not anything no have a look just share it. Hit the share button because yeah, the be more good. people who see it, yeah. um, the nearer they'll get to their target to get um, a deposit on the house, get moved in before she eventually departs. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I think that's about that it. Is, that's it. That is, is about, about it, it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think I can shut him up now. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully I didn't. Um, for you and you who always said I talk over Deb, hopefully I didn't talk over uh, as much as I did although I know I did some so so oh, wrong order yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I think that's hit the it's spot just... <laughs> yeah I've only had one yeah so if you enjoyed this little video press the like button if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button if you want future notifications of any other videos we upload uh, the bell icon and keep the comments coming yeah guys. love your comments and yeah we will see you on the walkthrough after Debbie has done the housework <laughs> next week <laughs> Bye.